In this video, I would like to talk about layoffs and give you practical guide what to do when you got laid off. I've been wanting to talk about it for a while, but I felt like I didn't have the experience going through layoff myself, but I got laid off a couple of weeks ago. And now I would like to share with you practical step-by-step -step guide what you can do. So the first thing that you can do, like first thing, you get the message, right? And the form and shape you can get the message can vary. It can be email, it can be a, a meeting with HR, it can be a pre-recorded meeting, whatever it is. So the first step that you want to do, you want to take a break and you want to take a breather and you want to manage your emotions because you, it's as the worst feeling I ever felt. It's probably like it's probably similar when uh, your uh, partner says that your partner wants to break up or wants to divorce after many many years living together. It's kind of similar to what you have to process it. Like you you like you in disbelief. Like like what? So. You want to manage your emotions. You want to calm down. So, um, you, you want to be civil on your on your meeting with HR, right? It's not to defend anyone, right? Because like that, it sucks to be on both ends on on the HR side and on the receiving side because n nobody likes to have that conversation. So, but manage your emotions. Take a break. And uh, when you when you process that, when you more or less calm down, um, you can actually negotiate your uh, severance package. Companies may not be willing to negotiate or able to negotiate, but um, it's worth to try. So, and normally you want to negotiate your severance package before you sign. Uh, the agreements, severance agreements, because once you sign what, what is done, when it's said, it's set, what is done is done. You get what you get. They get what you get. You promise X, Y, and Z done, done. So, uh, negotiate your package before signing the agreement. Uh, if you already signed the agreement, you can go back to HR and ask, um, they may or may not be working with you. They may or may not be willing to negotiate. Again, may or may not be willing to negotiate with you. But you have a stronger point. You're in a stronger position when you have not signed anything yet. So they might they might be a little bit wiggle room for you. And it's really important to understand what is important to you, like your benefits or your um. um Hey, also like think about how long would it take you to land a job? How long would it take you to land a job? So try to try to keep all those uh, um, details in mind. Now, after that, so after you've done with your seven, hopefully you have seven package. You may or may not have it. So after that, what you should do, like it's a really important. It's really important to have a system in place. And it's really important to have a system in place. So, and this is something that I teach also inside of my program, how you develop the system that will work for you, no matter what, no matter if you're looking for next opportunity as you have the opportunity or when you got laid off and you're looking for a job. So in my case, my system and in, because of my persistent work, right, and because of like implementing that system well, I was led, I was able to land my next job. Literally, well, not not the next job, the the next interview, uh, the next day, the next day, I scheduled interview for the next week for the following week. So, and that was successful. But it was because of proven methodology, of proven network, of of consistent work. So, um, and like I said, this is something that I teach inside of my program. This is something that like it, it this is your daily money making activities, nurturing and maintaining the system 
that will work for you. So, but I understand you may or may not have the system in place. And uh, if you don't, um, it's important to develop your network and network daily, right? network daily so uh, if you're okay right now and you might be thinking like dang so many um tech layoffs going on like what should i do now network expand your network expand your network put yourself out there and expand your network this is literally the first step that you could do literally the first step you, that you can do i i i've evidently update your linkedin profile and your resume green banner use it don't use it test it out i don't have a straight answer for you uh yes it helps to see that you're looking for a job uh and also um if you not don't put green manner on your profile that won't hurt you so test it out what works for you so for you green banner may work or it may not work, but what is important more, what is important more than the green banner is you communicating your values, what you can deliver to your next customer, because getting laid off is not a unique uh, situation. Unfortunately, in tech, a lot of tech professionals got laid off. A lot of tech professionals got laid off. You're not the one, you're not the only one. So instead of posting what everybody else is posting start with your values start with what you can deliver start with your skill set because this is like this is what matters like yeah everybody's gonna like support and share and react like on your message but what you can deliver today to you to the company what problem you can solve and emphasize that emphasize what problems you are solving not the fact that you were laid off and you know how awful it is and and i understand I, like if make a separate post if you if you want to make an emotional post make a separate post it's okay you can post more than once about your layoff on linkedin it's cool but when you are posting money making posts money making posts posts that will convert to the next opportunity to the next interview so what do you want to do? What do you want to do? You want to start with your values. You want to start with what you are offering. And the same thing goes to your LinkedIn and your resume, your value, what you can deliver, what you can deliver, like work on Swift UI, convert it, uh, uh, UI kit to Swift UI is not the value of what you can deliver because your customer really doesn't care if like your features in javascript on swift ui or any other framework but how you do how you develop that feature and how much money you make the, to that company how many new users you acquire because of the new feature and how easy you made it for your company to maintain that feature that matters that matters so your network is your net worth uh, start with your value and rely on your network. So, and um, as always, if you want proven system that works and that works for me well and for other people as well, because I was mentoring people since, gosh, 2016, 2017, um, schedule a call with me because I'm willing to help you. I am willing to help you. So uh, with that being said, thank you so much for watching and uh, I will see you in the next video. And uh, next week, we're uh, I'm starting a new series of live streams. So you don't want to miss it. Talking about the same thing, how to, how to land your career, how to maximize your earning potential, how scale how to land those really good juicy contracts and full-time jobs in tech and be the expert that you already are so stay tuned uh, my lives will be on linkedin and on um youtube and <laughs> literally everywhere else but i invite you to connect with me on linkedin because this is 
all this is where you get the juicy stuff like my posts my um polls and everything else so i would be really really excited to see you there and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet subscribe to my channel because this is where you can see all of the replays in one place so i will see you in the next video bye y'all